Today did mark the first day of winter term for many Oregon colleges and universities, but what will that actually look like? KZI 9 News reporter Kennedy Dendy spoke to students, faculty, and staff in our area to find out. It's a new year and a new term, but doors aren't open just yet. There is no replacement for in-person education. For the U of O, all classes are conducted online this week. Kirby Brown is an associate professor. He chose to teach remotely for the entire term. I have hope that we're going to continue to make the experience as good as it possibly can be. Lane Community College also kicked off winter term Monday. 90% of instruction is offered remotely, with only 10% in person for labs and those in health, career, and technical fields. Without a doubt, learning like this can be a greater challenge than many expected, especially for those who thrive off of in-person teaching. So even though I would say I'm a lot more isolated, physically speaking, um, I've actually gained a lot of new connections to people in my class that I never knew. Austin Gergen is a junior at OSU, where 95% of classes at their Corvallis campus are offered online for winter term. He says he misses learning from the classroom. I didn't realize how important having that uh, kind of break in your routine of just getting to drive to campus and be on campus for learning. COVID-19 testing at OSU is conducted weekly. The school will be making decisions in February about what spring term will look like. Plus, the U of O requires students living on campus to participate in its internal coronavirus testing program. Reporting in Eugene, Kennedy Dendy, KZI, 9 News.